I'm Jill Bearup, and what I did on my holidays this year was the Academy of Performance Combat's intensive summer course, from which I emerged with 33 bruises, about half a dozen bug bites, and count them, three basic level stage combat qualifications. Rapier and dagger, single sword, and unarmed. So if I had to pick a word for the week, it would be intense, which is probably not a surprise. I mean, the physical intensity I was expecting and the mental intensity I was kind of prepared for, the emotional intensity was, I admit, a little bit more of a surprise. The physical intensity is pretty obvious because you spend seven hours a day for five days and change doing, you know, reasonably strenuous physical activity. Basically, you have to learn how to move all of your body parts in what may be an entirely new way. In the course of this physical activity, you may also learn that you, in fact, walk a bit like a duck, but my terrible posture is not the subject of this video, so moving on. It was also really intense physically because it was so hot. I mean, hot for England, it got up to about 32 degrees, but there was no air conditioning, so we were mostly just outside in the shade. I had a hat, and my Factor 50, and my long sleeves, and my long trousers. Other people may have thought it was strange, but they were nice enough not to comment and I didn't get a sunburn, so I don't care. It was a great leveler though, because it just meant that absolutely everyone was a hot, sweaty mess, and so you couldn't really feel embarrassed about it because everyone else was in the same boat. Mentally, it was pretty intense because you have to learn the way you have to stand, the way to hold the sword, the way to hold the dagger, how to move forwards, how to move backwards, how to move sideways, how to move diagonally, how to try and hit people with said sword or dagger or your fist. But as you're doing that, you also have to learn all of the names of those things. So you can't just say you go forwards. Is it an advance? A lunge? A passing step. And then having learned all of the names for those things and how to do them, you then have to string them together in a particular set of sequences, i.e. your fight choreography. Oh, plus you have to learn eight lines of dialogue, which in my case was Shakespeare, because of course. You see, your exam at basic level is a performance and a workshop. And the performance is a scene of 16 lines of dialogue, which is conducted while also having a fight with rapier and dagger, and then with single swords, and then unarmed. So the fight choreography, yeah, is 28 moves in four sections before you're both down to a single sword each, and then another 24 moves in four sections before you're both down to unarmed, and then another 25 or so in four sections before you've actually finished. Put it this way, on Monday morning, because I'd already done some fencing a long time ago, I could advance and retreat, and parry and lunge. By Saturday, I was frickin' Xena, or at least Xena's marginally useful friend. Who I actually was for the purposes of the exam was Kate from The Taming of the Shrew, but with more kneeing in the groin, something I feel The Taming of the Shrew really lacks. Our instructor told us that basic is the hardest exam that you do because on Monday you know basically nothing and by Saturday you have to look like you've been doing this your entire life. You not only have to learn how to do the things, you also have to learn what the things are called and then you have to remember how to put them all in order. So we didn't actually finish getting all of our choreography until Thursday for an exam that we had on Saturday morning because, you know, Know, we had to learn all of the things before we could do the things. Mentally intense. That it was emotionally intense was one of those things that I probably should have expected, but did not. So they gave us this acronym for the things that you're supposed to remember when you're stage fighting. And the acronym is BEDPAN. And if you're really interested, I can tell you what they all stand for in the comments, but the E stands for eye contact. And you are supposed to hold eye contact basically at all times. Don't look at the target that you're aiming for. Don't look where you're supposed to be parrying. Don't look at their sword. Look in their eyes. Constantly. I mean, maybe most actors are just massive extroverts, but I find this really difficult. It's like, you just spend the entire time staring at people. I mean, you're not, because you're not their opponent, you're their partner, and you're trying to help each other, but man, I did not expect to have to do so much gazing. Also, I'm a little bit terrified of doing things which I feel are beyond my physical capabilities, which is how I ended up crying in front of my entire class on Wednesday. Twice. Granted, my entire class was four people in the instructor, but still, kind of embarrassing. A little bit embarrassing. Fortunately, everyone was really understanding about it, and then the following day, loads of other people cried and so I kind of felt better about it, which is possibly a little bit mean, actually, now I think about it. Another really difficult thing, no sorries, no apologizing, you're not allowed to say you're sorry, said Duncan, the instructor, to which I replied, you do realize that's like half of my vocabulary just gone. But regardless of the crying and the muscle aching and the general exhaustion and the bug bites, I was wearing insect repellent. 
seriously? I had, honestly, the absolute time of my life. It was like being a kid again for a week. And I got to pretend to punch people and hit them with swords. 10 out of 10, would recommend. What do you mean it's a whole year until the next one? What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Yeah, I'll let you know when I figured that one out. See you next time. <laughs> Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting in his tail. <laughs> <laughs>